From a global perspective, the flood element in any catastrophic event has the most devastating consequences to life, whether it's been hurricane, tropical storms, tornado, volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, tsunamis, the flood aftermath trails. At an elementary level, flood is just a significant increase in precipitation. In Africa, we are increasingly undermined by basic flood situations. It's about time we establish the ground level. What you have seen is as a result of a lack of drainage system. No drainage at all. Not to talk of even planning how to. The places where the water should you know, go, people have built there. What do you want? What else can one do? You can't accept government. And you know, you can't leave everything to we people. There is no way I can go and challenge that person now who built there. Somebody sold the land to him. He needs to guide himself. That's why the water is no longer flowing. And that's why it's affecting me here. Because ordinarily the water should be flowing out. But there is no drainage. Where is it flowing to? All the entrances, exits from the community here to the major um, Lake Express Road is all waterlocked. We just they just they manage because it's still my front of my shop. So now because of the water. So it's not good like this, but I know we don't want to be continue like this. The weather experience here is terrible, especially during rain. It's waterlogged. And the road is bad. The fastest growing settlement in the world lies within the Leki Ebe axis. Ogije is at the heart of this section. The experience in this community draws a clear picture of what happens when people fold their arms and do nothing. When I bought this place, there was nothing about how you solve it. I bought it when it was dry land. It was even bushy. It's over 13 years now I've been here. There was no way you could know anything until these buildings started springing up here and there. Then suddenly, there was nowhere for the water to flow. The water doesn't go to anywhere. So the people in the area here, we suffer it very huge. It's because of all this building that is there. It's supposed to have the space that the water will be flowing. Because if you go down, you will see the house, they have blocked the road. That place already is the road for the water to pass. But they are selling that place and the person built the land there. So the, the, the fault may be partly part of uh, uh, the people selling the land. Because if they know things are like this, I think they should have given gap between one plot and the other. To serve as a, you know, a form of channel where the water can go. No way that pass. The dirty that people dispose in around the bush, so it, the water is contaminated. So if we put our continue putting our leg like this, it will make us fall ill. Even the pedestrians too suffer along the same thing. We have no less than seven or eight exits to the express but all of them are fully waterlogged. You can see all the children coming, come, come back from school. We used to scratch. So our children that we take to school, we used to back them, or some people used to carry bike to carry them. We just scratch, we just scratch our leg. Then we get them. Water is no good. Hey, look at the earth as that this will cause. Most times I have to put uh, kerosene ahead so that to ward off mosquitoes and all that. But before you know it, water will wash it away, another one comes. The impact of the seasonal flood transcends from economic to political into being a sheer health hazard. All stakeholders need to come on board and join hands effectively. The chairman, you know now, is the citizen for this, this bogeyje. They know how to do, they know something they want to do about that thing. But they will do it 
That's why the everybody contribute their self and tell them say thirteen thousand each house, thirteen thousand each house to grade the the city. But they will be able to pay the money, so everybody collect their money back. This water comes from all the way from Express, oh? Yes, yes. All the way from Express down here. Why, why couldn't they channel even the express? Why couldn't they channel just gutter? If that one has a free way to go, it won't come here. It comes here, it's nowhere to go. Everywhere, right from the express to this place. See the water now. Where they won't pass the water go? I build my house. I want to, I want to do drainage. There is nowhere I'm going to channel it, except I'm going to channel it to another person's compound. That one will channel it to another person's compound. Eventually, it will end somewhere. We have had some communal um, efforts here. In the first of all, we open the roads, we buy local mud to feed them. Sometimes we buy rubbles to fill them. But it's not when it rains, it eats them off. It eats them off. And the, the very focus continues to sink. Landlord Association, we have. So we have we have met, we've written letters to them at the local government. Even the chairman came. Two years ago, he came last year. It's only this year we didn't see him. Promising they would do, you know, gutters, they would do drainages and all that. They, he promised to channel gutter from, you know, at the back here down to one road there, which will lead to swamp. There is swamp area in the. Uh, but we didn't see him. For this um, landlord meeting, they will contribute money to do the road. But some contribute the money, some even contribute. Later, when the rain started, everybody come and come and meet and collect the money back. I'm the one that will collect the money. I'm the one that will collect the money, like 13,000 each person, each house. Now they will collect their own money back because of the rain. And it's not something, something people can just say, let's team up and do it. If government wants to do it for us, we are ready to assist them. We will too will contribute money. Do I like all this in my house? It's not fair now. I've been standing here and I could enter. Because I to to put my feet inside this water is something. Now God will go help us. Morning where we are going now, so we just pass. Now we am go and carry my baby too now, so we just pass. To go out is a problem. Coming back is a problem. They allow us to get customers. The customer they cannot enter this road to come and buy market with us or do any business with us. It's affecting our business okay? because of this water. Now nobody will enter this water to come and buy something. You understand? So if no water, now we see so many many people. Uh, yeah, David, give me something. Give me pampas. So yeah, David, give me this. Give me that. Because of this water, now we don't see anybody to to attend with us. It affects it a lot. Though. Because if this water is too much, people cannot enter it to come and buy something. So then there's no sense. Many people are coming, but when it is rain season like this, they will not come. They will not get customers. If governments are released, if they come here, just mark the places that you know this water will channel. Demolish places where you, so that there will be free movement of. If this, this water too doesn't like staying, channel a, a way for, for it, it will go. It will not stay. If you please construct the road and as you can see, make the road to be like smooth for and make water drainage. It's not also in this street, also in the market street also. Make drainage in this buggy just so water can pass freely into um this thing, into the drainage. Where the water will go, the lands there, the people have built on that pathway. And if they have built there, is it me who will go and challenge that person? But government, they don't need to talk to the person. They will mark the place. That's all. And once it is marked, you know you have built, you have blocked the uh, way for easy movement of water. So even if it affects me, it doesn't matter. The solution is that if government can help us, or any local government chairman, anybody. Saying it's a problem of uh, Lagos uh, residents and all that, I don't think so. We are we are we are responsible to government. Government is responsible to us. 
they should do something about this. They should feel it. Water is too much. If the government can help us, we'll be good. So we need government to help us for this our road. If they believe that we are part of negotiations, I think they should be here. Well, after our due consideration here, when I look at it with our side business here, we said that if government can come and just put one road here that will travel within this community and go to the express road, it will ease off all these things, all these problems. And then um, the business here will, will find a way to grow. The road more more better my, my more than this yes. I believe in God that we we'll, our market will be moving more than this. The people of Bogije do not have a unique story to tell. Their pains cut across communities in Africa and the third world. Power to bring about change still lies in our capacity to take little steps that makes a big difference and drive the flood establishing a new ground level.